Pisces, hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, it's your first time here. I'm your host, Tina, and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing your upcoming weekly tarot. This one is for March 29th to April 4th. Now, if you're new and it's your first time here, I pulled two layers. I'm going to jump straight into your reading, get into the first layer now. All right, this is for Pisces, March 29th to April 4th for Pisces. All right, we're gonna stop it here. Six of Pentacles is at the bottom. Where are you gonna give your time and energy and resources? All right, I feel it's a little difficult or conflicting this week, um, especially the mental space. We are gonna go in and clarify. Um, so it just feels like things are a little out of balance. Recent past, you have the Eight of Wands. So there's just like a lot of high energy. Like I feel like you've been very busy here. Could have been just busy day to day, especially. Um, or you've just had a lot of like energy within yourself to just kind of get things done, get things moving, circulated, messages sent, messages received. Um, so just a lot. Like there is an opportunity right now in the recent past to strike while the iron is hot for some of you as well. The overall energy though is the Five of Swords. So it's just like, and then we have the current energy is the nine of swords. So seeing these two, it just feels like such like sabotaging type thoughts, right? Or just type of energy. The mental energy is not bringing us peace. You know, that five of swords is about like, sometimes are we lying to ourselves? Are we dealing with people lying to us? This is like, can be open dishonor. And again, can be also the lies we tell ourselves, right? But it's just conflict, it's discord. Um, and you could have had a falling out with somebody here. And this week, it's just like, I don't know, there's something about it with the nine of swords that's just very stressful energy. Not feeling good, not happy, um, really worried, really anxious type of energy, just keeping you up at night, you know, that kind of energy. In the challenge position, we do have the two of pentacles. And so, I mean, you know, it's just, it's, it feels off balance. It feels off balance. I feel like you just have this fine line this week with that two of pentacles there of like, it's just like it's it's a thin, fine line that quickly can throw things for you off balance this week, you know, and you're really trying to maintain it, but there's there's a stressful energy around it for whatever reason. Um, and you know, with that two of pentacles, maybe you're juggling a lot of things. Maybe you have to prioritize differently, right? Um, maybe you're having um, a difficult time remaining flexible or, or, or the opposite, choosing a direction, right? Uh, maybe you're just back and forth weighing things and you just like, you're not deciding, you're not choosing, you're not picking, right? Um, and it can be all, maybe it just feels a little disorienting, the energy. Where your mind is at and what you're focused on, we have the beautiful Empress energy. This is about like, you're really trying to focus more on creating stuff and building stuff and giving birth to things. Um, you know, you're really thinking about where you want to pour your energy, your time, all of all of the abundance that surrounds you. Who do you want to share that with, right? How do you want to create that? These are the things that are kind of on your mind. Um, you know, it's also just like thinking and understanding that good things do take time to grow. They take time to nurture and develop. They take a lot of attention. They take a lot of care. Um, it takes a lot of commitment from us. And so I feel like all of these things are on your mind. Your approach is the page of swords here. So, you know, you're just trying to gather information. I feel like you're being really open, um, especially intellectually. You're really trying to remain open. You're trying to get the truth, the facts here, you know, especially if there was a fight here, you're definitely just, you just care about like the truth and the facts and you're trying to remove the clouds of confusion here. In your environment, we got the six of wands. So there is an energy of feeling confident and bold and like triumphant. You know, um, it can be a small victory, definitely, but one that's going to boost your confidence, make you feel better, um, stronger. Coming to our due is the Page of Cups. Um, this is a very sweet energy, right? It can be a sweet message. It can come out of the blue. It can be even a creative idea that comes out of the blue here. 
but there's an openness to your heart and to your um, and to your energy there's a gentleness that's approaching even as I say it, we got the Page of Cups at the bottom here. Um, so it's really sweet, playful energy, even stylish. If you're like stepping into that and you're like, hey, it's springtime, can like change up this wardrobe a little bit. Um, all right, let's go in and clarify all of these energies for you. All right, Pisces, let's see what's happening. Um, it's like you're like simultaneously stressed out about something here. It's just like, I don't know, there's no ease when it comes to your mind, but you're also like focused on like creating and building things, right? Um, nurturing some kind of project here. All right. We're going to take it. Oh, we're going to take two. We got death at the bottom. More swords energy. I don't know. It feels like this week for, there's just like this detachment from emotions. But we got one of the best swords coming towards you, which is the Ace of Swords. Death is at the bottom. I think things are changing and we are dealing with the discomfort of changes this week. Um, that's ultimately what's happening. And you're really trying to like, I feel like discriminate and decide where you're gonna put your energy and your time. Recent past, we have both the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Again, high energy. I just feel like a lot of you were like putting in the work, showing up, because you saw there was a moment of opportunity here where you just, I don't, it's just very dedicated, like mastering your craft or like just back to studying, back to learning. Just, I just feel a lot of commitment. And again, even some detachment further. Um, before it was just like emotional detachment, but even like, if you're focused on a project or something here that you're really putting a lot of work into, I feel like you've also had to like take a step back from like people and situations because you're busy, right? Like your energy's going here instead of there right now. Um, so it's much more serious energy. It's not like social at all. The overall energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. So I just feel like you're, you're getting ready to like simultaneous energy. There's you really, there's something here that's bothering you. Some situation here that's just not bringing your mind peace. Um, and it does feel like there is a partnership here. It could even be work related for some of you, but there's a partnership here, no doubt. It's on your mind. It's what you're thinking about putting your energy into, but there's a lot of conflict around it. With that Knight of Pentacles, I feel like some of you are even getting ready to like, launch a project or an idea here you're really starting to like think about laying the groundwork right that's that's what it feels like with the knight of pentacles so it's it's slow it's committed can be boring can be boring let me say that with the knight of pentacles but it is something you can trust and that's built to last current situation we have the nine of swords clarified clarifying that we have the king of swords there's so much sword energy um, that I'm so glad that the Ace of Swords is actually coming towards you. King of Swords is, again, I just feel like you're emotionally detached or your emotions, you feel like maybe holding you back. And so you're stepping into that like very um, analytical, very strategic, um, intellectual mind space, right? Because um, I feel like you're trying to remain strong and you're trying to remain cool on the surface, but I think on the inside, you're struggling a little bit more than you might be giving off um, with your thoughts, right? That kind of energy. In the challenge position, we have the two of pentacles, we have the page of swords, remaining open, just keep, and you are remaining open, you are. Um, like I said, there's that simultaneous energy about you. Where your focus, we have the empress and the two of cups. Definitely, there's a partnership here that is very important to you, that you really wanna give it all of your attention and care, your time, your energy, your love, your affection. I just feel like there's there's one partnership in particular here that you're really gonna give it more of your energy than any other partnership here, more of your nurturing, because you got the idea of like a future together, birth on your mind, what can you create, what can you build together? That's the Empress. 
she's ruled by Venus, all things beautiful, the luxuries, right? All of these, like that's that's the feelings that this partnership like brings out for you, right? So really interesting. It's like while all of this is going on, there's one partnership here that you're just like, I'm gonna give it all of my attention and love. It just stands out the most to you and it's the one that you're about to invest in the most. Your approach here, we have the Magician and we have the Page of Swords. I feel like you're trying to think about what you want to create and manifest. Um, and you're doing it again in that like logical way right now. With the Magician, you got ideas. Even with the Empress here, another card again about creation. Magician is definitely a card of creation as well. And, so, and we also have the Fool here, right? And so um, the Fool's in your environment. And so I just feel like... Um, there's going to be a chance taken in the environment. There's like things that you have in your head right now that you're like, I really, I'm ready to start making magic, just like the magician, right? Um, literally, you're ready to be the magi to say, hey, what do I need? What do I have? What do I have? What tools do I have at my disposal right now? What can I use this for? What can I use that for? How can I bring this about? Because you're starting to feel empowered and you're stepping into that energy of like and you're concentrating your will like i feel like you've got this vision and you're like all right what do i got to do to bring this to life here again we got that fool in the environment with the six of wands i feel like you're gonna feel like confident like i said and almost brave and i just feel like i see you taking a chance here taking a leap here if, if you're not taking it just yet i feel like you're definitely whatever is going on in your environment. Again, there's a level of confidence um, boosting that's happening for you because you've worked hard and you were able to overcome something and you have this success here. I think it puts you in this energy of feeling more confident and brave in yourself and saying, hey, maybe I can start thinking about taking a chance on something that you'd been playing with or toying with in your mind. But so some of you might just be preparing yourselves for taking that leap. And I feel like others of you might just jump in, right? Just like the fool and say, hey, Caution to the wind. There's a new beginning. There's a new journey for me. I can see it coming. I can see how I can materialize this. Coming towards you as well, Pisces, we have the Page of Cups with the Ace of Swords. So this is really, like, it could be like um, an idea for some of you, right? Just like with that Page of Cups, and I said like, oh, it could be like an idea that pops up out of nowhere. Um, and then the Ace of Swords, it just kind of makes you think of like lightning striking. And so it almost feels like lightning in a bottle. Like you have this idea and it's this major aha moment. But there's something that comes through and it's super. It just brings you like so much clarity. It's like all of a sudden everything is really clear to you. You could see how things line up, how they make sense, how one thing connects to another. You know, it's the Ace of Swords brings us that kind of clarity. And, and, and it brings us a sense of victory and triumph. Um, and so I feel like, yeah, your thoughts might not be bringing you peace this week, but I think you'll navigate that that day to day aspect of our of our growth process. And by the end of the week, I think something really great is going to come towards you. And it's just going to feel like lightning, honestly, um, like lightning striking or like a light bulb coming off or just something becomes super clear or you see um, a solution very clearly. But it's, it's all feeling good and it makes you feel victorious and like you really um, you got something in your hand type of energy, right? Like that. All right, Pisces, I am going to leave it there for you. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed this reading. If you liked it, if anything resonates, then please hit like, hit subscribe. As always, thank you, and I will see you all next week.